You are always seeing them building a new flyover, doing more road work. holidays where we we'll go around cycling or running around. The fire has gone through so much changes it doesn't seem to have any soul left. But... but good or bad, that's going to be the accumulated history of that shop house. Ten years down the road, the shop is still going to be there. Someone else is going to, still going to use it. Office, restaurant, do not know. I really love the feeling of strong coffee in my mouth for what it is, which is not a double espresso. So he's actually saying he's yearning for the past. I think he's expressed it very well. Mm. Designer beers and espressos were really, really quite new things. Mm. Right? Yeah. So, right. yeah. They say there is no history. So it's like in the middle of something. There is no past, no beginning. Everybody will have their own, their own perception and it should work that way in a sense, you know. I realised that we are going for a trip and then we are going to the places that I mentioned in the poem. So that got me really interested. So I think that this programme is a very enriching experience for me to know more about Singapore itself. So I think when I left Singapore, there wasn't such an active role that the uh, library was playing in, the, in people's lives. And I think this is such a lovely way as well of introducing local poets to other people. It was an interesting tour, especially from my perspective, because I do give literary tours on short stories and novels, so it was good to see it from a poet's perspective. I find that this uh, is a very good affordable.